Okay, good morning all. Uh, this morning what I want to do is I want to do a little couple of videos on um, the coronavirus and we'll use it to learn um, you know, many different concepts within science. Now, the first thing that I want to kind of talk about is just the size of the coronavirus and this is very interesting as well. Um, now, what we're looking at here, so if we have a look here at, at this, this is a, a model, if you like, of the coronavirus. And I'm going to talk about over the next couple of lessons as well, we'll talk about the structure and what coronaviruses are made of and how they reproduce and how they live and all of, all of that type of thing. But for now, what I want to do is I just want to focus on the actual size of the coronavirus, just to kind of give you an idea of how small viruses actually are but yet how important they are. And it'll also bring in some of the concepts of measurement as well. So if we have a look here, the first thing I want you to do, if you take out, so go to your mat set, get your ruler and take out your ruler and just have a look at the ruler. Now, <clears throat> what you'll notice on your ruler, okay? So you'll have, it'll be in millimeters and in centimeters. So when you have a look here, so the zero to one here is one centimeter. Now we can break down the centimeter into millimeters. So between this tiny space here, which is one centimeter, there are 10 millimeters. So if you have a look here, so look at where the green lines are. So between, between uh, two of the green lines, that space is one, is one millimeter. Okay, so one millimeter. Um, now, we have this unit, so within science, particularly if you're studying, for example, the coronavirus, the coronavirus is very, very small. And we have um, smaller and smaller and smaller units to represent smaller and smaller and smaller measurements. Now, one of these is what's called the micron, or what's called the micrometer. So we, just, we can just call it the micron. Okay, so the micron. And when we look, so if we have a look here at this symbol, so see this, so we have this, um, so this here is the unit of what's called the micron or the micrometer. So we just call it micron for short. And you see it has this kind of weird symbol and then it has the, the M for meter, okay? So it's micrometer. Now just to put it into context, how small a mic one micrometer is. So if you take one millimeter, so if we think about one millimeter, it's this tiny space here that we see. So sorry, now this tiny, this tiny space here between uh, two of these green points, okay? From one point, from one of these green lines to the other, that's one millimeter. So think about how tiny that is. Now, within that, you would be able to fit 1,000 micrometers okay now another way to think about it is if you were to take this tiny space here if you were to take this tiny sp space in between a millimeter and you were to break that up into a thousand parts one part one of those one thousand parts is a micron is one micron so another way to think about it is uh, one one uh, micrometer so it's just kind of weird symbol is equal to one over a thousand, one over a thousand of a millimeter. So you take a millimeter and you divide it down into a thousand parts, and one of those parts is what's known as a micron, and this is the symbol that we get for it. Now, just to kind of put that into context and think about how small that is. So if you were to take, so have a look at your arm, okay, or your hand, and look at one of the hairs that are on your hand. So the average width of a hair is 70 microns. Okay, so it's about 70 microns. That's roughly around the average, the average diameter or the width of a hair. It's 70, 70 microns. So if you think about in this tiny space in millimeter, in one millimeter, how many micron or how many hairs could we stack? Could we line up across that tiny space? Well, if we do the maths on it, Okay, so within, so let's just do the quick maths on that. So if in a millimeter, one millimeter is a thousand, 1,000 microns, and a human hair is 70 microns. So how many 70 microns can we get into a thousand? So we divide this by 70, 
okay so we be able to it's roughly so one millimeter would roughly we'd be able to if we put we we would be able to put in roughly about 14 human hairs side by side by side by side and um, to fill up this tiny space in here between but in one millimeter so so that's so think about a human hair that's how so 70 microns is one human hair and like if when you look at it you know you can't really judge that with the naked eye you have to actually look at it under the microscope and that's what we have here we have a human hair under the microscope now to put that into context if we could go back then to our coronavirus so what we're looking at here so this hair so this thing here that looks like a big uh, a big stone it's 10 micrometers so this is like a dust particle okay down from that then here we have a red blood cell so if we remember red blood cells they're basically the sponges that carry oxygen from around the body in the bloodstream so a red blood cell is seven microns okay so if you were to take a red blood cell and you were to line them up you would be able to fit 10 red blood 10 red blood cells across the diameter of a human hair that's how small they are now if we look at the coronavirus so the coronavirus is down here so this is our coronavirus here and we can see here that it's extremely small like in comparison to bacteria and red blood cells they're they're tiny so they are and um, and if we think about like how many coronaviruses would fit across the width of a human hair well one coronavirus so the size of a coronavirus is 0 0.1 of a micron okay so it's 0 0.1 of a micron so you take one micron which is a thousand one thousand of a millimeter and you were to split that up um one coronavirus is 0 0.1 of a micron so how many coronaviruses would you be able to fit across the width of a human hair okay so just 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 this will just give you an idea of how small coronaviruses actually are so let's do the math on that so if we take so a human hair is 70 70 microns now uh, the uh, coronavirus is 0.1 of a micron so let's see how many 0.1s of a micron we can get into 70 microns so we'll divide 70 by 0 0.1 so it's equal to 700 so you would you would be able to fit 700 coronaviruses so 700 coronaviruses across the width of a human hair so if we were to look so imagine we have a human hair so this is our human hair let me just change the color here okay so what we have here so if we have a look here so this is the width of a human hair so from here to here and across that width if we were to take a coronavirus and put them side by side by side we would get 700 700 of them side by side by side across the width of a human hair so this will just give you an idea of how small the coronavirus actually is now we'll continue looking at the coronavirus and look at other concepts within uh, science and, and how they relate to the coronavirus but just to give you an idea the coronavirus are very 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 small they're extremely small but they are they are dangerous as well okay but this is if you're looking within science for example like your whole career could be about looking at viruses for example and looking at how what they're made of how they work their size and um, and you know basically like what they do and what they're all about so this is what we mean so just just to okay so just to kind of like just to recap so we have one millimeter is this tiny space here in between the two green lines and um, within one millimeter you have a thousand what are called microns and we're going to be talking a lot about microns as well because microns is the scale that you're dealing with when you're looking at um, these tiny microns the coronavirus okay hope you enjoyed that and thank you for listening